So first step in your sales process, if it's your email outreach, if you're making cold calls, right, are you talking about problems or are you talking about solutions? And if you're talking about solutions, people aren't listening. People know their problems. Does that make sense? All right. So be disarmingly honest. You know, we do a lot of training on cold calling. Okay. Um, anybody do cold calling? Anybody uh, should be doing cold calling? Okay. And what does a typical cold call sound like? Did you say click? Yeah, yeah click. Yeah. Right? Right, because if you trigger anything that sounds like a salesperson, they hang up on you. Who's someone I haven't called on yet? Your name is? Alex. Alex, all right, I haven't called on Alex, right? So if I'm making a cold call to Alex, all right, if I say, hey, Alex, this is Dave Fisher, I'm looking for some help. What is Alex going to say to that? Help with what, right? Or he might say, how can I help you? Right? Um, I don't want to sound like a salesperson, right? Because if I sound like a salesperson, I say, hi, Alex, this is Dave Fisher, and I'm glad I got you. How are you today? Boom, salesperson, click. So it's all about interrupting the pattern, right? Christina, this is Dave Fisher. I'm looking for some help. How can I help you? Well, Christina, not sure if you and I should be having a conversation. Let me take a minute, I'll tell you the reason why I called and then you can let me know. All right, so it's about interrupting the pattern. So you don't have to sound like this salesperson, you don't have to go in there and use this lingo, just have a conversation, be yourself. Don't sound salesy, all right?